We haven't spent any time researching how to persuade people to do things without holding a gun to their head. Now, it's always useful. I think it was Al Capone who said that a, a kind word can be effective, but it's more effective if you have a gun when you utter it. The third lecture is about uh, the need for diplomatic agility. We have to get a lot smarter and more purposive about uh, acting internationally. And that requires uh, the professionalization of our diplomacy. We are the only country in the world that doesn't have a professional diplomatic service from top to bottom. We prefer to send actors, used car salesmen who have contributed money to presidential candidates, people who don't speak the local language, who've never even visited the country they're being asked to represent us in, out as our representatives. We have to be nimble. We're not. Uh, so uh, what I want to talk about in the third lecture is how to recover agility. I'm not suggesting that we in any way give up our military capacity, but I do think we would be better off if we used it more sparingly. And the most effective diplomacy is actually that sort of deep diplomacy that is persuading other people to do things your way by making it clear to them that it's in their interest to do that. Do we have a tradition of this? Not much. Uh, 